Okay, today we're going to take a look at the uh, CapBots Capticon, uh, which is a sort of weird subset of transformers. Uh, I've uh, been looking out for these for quite a while now, um, actually a couple of years. These were released in 2012, uh, and I finally found one uh, on a trip to Japan. So this is the, the first time I've actually uh, got to see one in the flesh. Uh, they're a strange idea. It's a baseball cap that turns into a transformer. Uh, this one is sort of loosely uh, based on Megatron as in he's called Capticon. There is a Optimus uh, Prime version called Captimus Prime uh, which is essentially the same cap uh, with a different head on it. Uh, it's uh, obviously got a different paint job uh, but uh, it's essentially the same toy. Uh, these are made by Takara so they are an official uh, transformer sort of release. Uh, a very odd idea uh, and these seem to be the uh, successor to the sports label uh, Nike trainers that were released uh, the year before. Uh, so let's open this up and uh, see what we've got inside and see how uh, the transformer looks. So here we have Capticon out of the box uh, in his uh, hat alternative mode. Uh, it's actually a pretty reasonable sculpt. It does look like a baseball cap. Uh, the underside uh, is open so you can see uh, the robot inside. Uh, the front of the cap looks pretty uh, good. Uh, you know you've got a sticky label on there um, which uh, a lot of the modern baseball caps have. A nice Decepticon logo on the front and otherwise it's a sort of fairly just black finish. Oh, there's a small Decepticon logo on the back. Uh, a few sort of uh, joints and bits showing uh, but that's to be expected on something like this. Uh, the, supposedly this is a semi-automatic transformation. Uh, there's a button on the top so let's put this down and press the button and see what happens. Right well he flings apart and um, you can see He's partially transformed. Uh, looks like it needs a little bit of uh, guidance here. Uh, I have, have looked at the instructions, so I've seen what needs doing. Um, so let's just rotate him around and we'll get him posed up and uh, take a proper look at the toy. There we go, that's him all transformed. Just put his head out there. So, uh, Actually, not a bad robot mode, uh, considering uh, the, the sort of starting point. Uh, it's a fairly complicated model. Uh, there's a nice lot of detail on him. His uh, hands look pretty cool there. Uh, and his face is uh, a little bit like Megatron's, as you can see there, with another baseball cap on. Uh, so uh, not, a, not a bad toy. Uh, it's actually fairly well articulated as well for, for something like this. Uh, you, got, you can see that you can move his legs quite a lot. Uh, he's got joints on his... Uh, knees and on his ankles and a fairly good hip joint there. The hands are a little uh, restricted uh, because of the shoulder joint uh, but that's uh, not so bad. Let's just fold those down. Um, it's actually a pretty reasonable toy. It's a fairly comedic sort of uh, styling for a transformer. Uh, not the most serious of looking things but I guess uh, considering he transforms from a baseball cap uh, that's to be expected. Um, I don't know if I would bother buying uh, the other Optimus Prime version of this as it's supposed to be the same sculpt with just a slightly different head on it. Um, I suppose if you're a completist then you would want to get this. I only picked this up because it's a, a little bit of an oddity that I'd uh, sort of heard about and uh, wanted to see what it was like. Um, not the most amazing toy but a novelty anyway. Uh, I picked this up for, I think I paid about 12 UK pounds for it, so um, a little overpriced I would say, but I guess these are fairly limited edition uh, figures, so um, if you want them you're going to have to pay a little bit of a premium to it. But uh, yeah, overall not a bad figure and, uh, and a reasonably nice uh, toy to have in your collection, so uh, probably one that's worth getting if you're a bit of a Transformers nerd like me. Thanks for watching.